so I literally have been editing since last night and I've had to learn so many different things about music and copyrights and <sighs> it's a pain in the neck but I'm making it work for you guys so I'm sorry it's taking me forever to upload days 11 and 12 but it's coming up I promise it is about noon I'm on my lunch break but I'm editing a lunch break and I'm probably gonna take a little nap because I'm so tired I had a really long weekend Quick little update, I'm still alive. I just got out of the shower. I showered on my, you can tell by my wet ass hair. I showered on my, one of my breaks. That's the perks of living at home or working from home. Um, I quite literally have been working all day. I've done nothing but edit my videos and upload. So literally I've been using my breaks for that. I didn't even get a chance to eat. I just ate some like leftover food from yesterday. And uh, I will catch up with you guys later. I have to go to Costco and Target today. And then I'm going to make some food. So I'll probably record that and see how it goes. What up? It is about 7.30. Dude, my house has stayed clean all weekend long. Because I haven't really been home like that. I went to go to Target. I need to get dog food. I need to get laundry, detergent, stuff like that. Hopefully Target isn't taking me for all my money. It is Christmas. I need to spare the wealth. You know, show the well. The fit is my white Oswegos. I got these sweats from Zara. Uh, old uh, Star Wars graphic tee. I live for a comfy graphic tee. My Brendan and Cora bomber jacket. And my dog mom hat. Because my hair looks like Shiza. Keys and wallet and let's go. Lord almighty, I'm about to make some dinner. I have these little yellow potatoes that I need to cook before they go bad, so I'm going to bake them. I am also going to add some asparagus into the oven. I got my laundry detergent and some softener, and then I got a mascara. I was in and out Target because I was like, I'm only here for three things, sorry, four things, and my dog's food. So now I'm about to make some dinner, watch the... Sunday's episode of Insecure. I'm also making steamed rice just so I can have rice ready for whatever. Because you can always eat rice. I love white rice. Steamed rice is like my favorite. I have some chicken. I'm going to grill it. Eat it with the potatoes and the asparagus. I'll show you all what it turned out to be. Cool. So for dinner is white rice. Grilled chicken. I seasoned with mustard. The butter steak saw, um, seasoning from Costco. I have... Um, Persian cucumbers with lemon and salt, some baked asparagus, a couple baked potatoes, and this is my dinner. I have a tahini dressing that I'm gonna add to the potatoes. So basically it's just tahini with water, lemon juice, and you can season it with like salt and uh, <clears throat> basically like anything that you wanna add to it. I added onion powder just to get it a little extra taste. I'm freaking starving because I haven't ate all day and I'm about to get some water to drink with this. And this is my dinner. Good morning. Well, tum -ta. Tum -tum -ta. I think today's vlogmas day 14. Uh, I literally passed out after dinner yesterday. Uh, I started to watch the Sandra Bullock movie and then I passed out. So I was so dead tired. I worked 12 hours yesterday. So it was a very uneventful day. Right now I am making my morning coffee. I already had my, no, I'm lying. No wonder why I'm so tired. I didn't take my mental focus, which is spark because I'm in the mood for actual coffee. I know that it's no longer Thanksgiving or anything, but I still am drinking the pumpkin spice cream coffee blah 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 from Kroger's this is the best pumpkin spice coffee creamer ever Ugh. I'm so out of it today like so today tomorrow and Wednesday are gonna be 12 hour days for me so I sincerely apologize that my vlogmas are gonna be kind of just about food and me on break. And I'm so hungry, so I'm probably just gonna toast a bagel and have fruit. Like I wanted to actually have like 
eggs and potatoes and all kinds of stuff, but that's not enough for my 15 minute break. So bagels and fruit it is. I think I think I have strawberries and pineapple. Yeah, I have strawberries and pineapple, so I'm gonna have that. I'm just gonna toast my bagel mix. Oh, also I forgot to mention the other morning when I went to breakfast with my family, I kept the jam because this is the best homemade jam I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. Like I cannot. It's just so good. I need to go, like, I need to find out if they actually, like, sell it. I mean, it's a country farmhouse, so they sell all kinds of stuff, so I'm sure they sell them. Okay, finished product. Here's my coffee. It's so delicious. There's my bagel with the onion, cream cheese, and just pineapple and strawberries because they're going to go bad, so I need to F them up. Mmm. But I can't eat them like, I can't combine them. Like I have to either eat the strawberries first and then the pineapple because then I can't taste the pineapple or they taste weird if they eat them together. Am I crazy or is anybody else like that? I don't know. What up? I am being a nice cousin and I'm picking up a screen protector and a case for my cousin from the Verizon store. I'm doing a curbside pickup. Oh God, these hairs. Um. This is my hometown, nonetheless, and this is like people that know me and my freaking family. So this is gonna be embarrassing. Showing up looking like a fucking bruja. <sighs> but you know what? It is what it is. I'm being a nice cousin. So I just picked up my cousin's stuff, and then I, since last night, I've had this crazy urge that I want greasy ass Chinese food. So I decided since I was out in these streets, I would get some greasy Chinese food and that's what I did. Now I feel like a big fat failure, but whatever. My body's asking for it, so why not? Let's do it. So this is what my greasy ass lunch is gonna look like. It is pork fried rice, chow mein, and sweet and sour pork. And I'll just dig in, cause Aunt Flo must be coming into town because I am just craving greasy ass shit right now. Hello. So after another 12 hour day, I legit am just about to make salmon. I'm gonna make that salmon bowl thing that from the Emily, whatever her name is, check. I'm gonna make my own version of it. I will be making my own version of it because I probably don't have all the stuff she puts in it, but well, I'm having my cousin over for dinner. I basically have someone for dinner like once or twice a week. Uh, wearing pajamas. I'm not wearing a bra, so I don't really want to show you too much. But these pajamas I got from Costco. They're Nautica. Um, I still haven't put that away. These, <laughs> these last couple days have been rough because literally you get up, brush your teeth, Um, I literally roll out of bed, brush my teeth, and then just like clock in. I don't even make coffee anymore because it's like not even worth it to me to get it like first thing when I wake up. I do my mental focus first. I'm fucking rambling on, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some food. I will show you part of it. This vlogmas for yesterday and today are gonna be kind of weak. I'm thinking of just like getting three days put in one just because there's like not enough footage. Like literally I sit on my computer or stand on my desk because I have a stand-up desk. I guess I can give you an office tour, but not really. There's really nothing to give you a tour of. Literally it's my desk. A whole bunch of storage shit. And I can't show you my computer because it's like property of the company. and I, no, That's just not happening. Um... I have a lot more shit going on on Thursday because it's my day off. I'm gonna work like two hours of overtime in the morning, but it's like first thing in the morning. So Thursday, I wanna dedicate to shopping the rest of my Christmas stuff. And then I can finally wrap gifts and put them under the tree because my tree's looking a little sad right now without tree trees, without gifts. 
I watched a Sandra, wait, did I tell you guys already that I watched a Sandra Bullock movie last night? I'm not going to have any spoilers. I hate when people do that shit. I liked it. For a Netflix movie. For a family, for a drama, Netflix drama, it was pretty good. I guess. Or I'm biased because it's based in Seattle. That's not really a spoiler alert because it's like, who cares? Um, so that was kind of cool. Also, there's like one of that, that one hot guy that was in um, The Walking Dead and then he did The Punisher. Punisher. The Punisher, like that one Marvel show. What's his name? Like John or Johnny or something. He's hot. Now that I'm older, I feel like I'm really into the older man thing. Anyways, I think I hear the little hooch coming in, so I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm pretty sure that she makes it differently than me, but there's the rice, the salmon, the cucumber, the avocado, and then I've got the, what is it called? Seaweeds, whatever. And then I've got some spicy mayo. So I'm about to dig in. I was in the mood for dessert. So I've got a chocolate rice crispy cake, strawberries, and a little bit of honey. Perfect way to kill that sweet taste. Okay, it is about 9.30. I am so exhausted. I want to go to bed. I made the salmon bowl thing. Had dessert. Chatted with my cousin for a little bit. I want to watch Selling Sunset before I pass out. I'm so sorry. This was so uneventful. Quiet Rocky. We'll see you tomorrow. It is lunchtime. I am having leftovers from the other night. Uh, chicken, potatoes, baked potatoes, and then the asparagus. And some water. And that is it. I am so obsessed. I This is my new favorite little dessert. Uh, it's a <clears throat> chocolate rice cake. They're 60 calories. Um, they're like the quicker oats brand, I think. Obviously, straight real strawberry and just honey. Ooh. Fire, 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 under 100 calories for this entire little dessert. I have a mess, a royal mess for three days. Well, I mean, it's not really messy, but that side is messy. It might look like I don't shower, but I swear to God I do. Um, I just don't wash my hair. And uh, I just got off work. This is my third day in a row working um 12 days in a row, it doesn't sound like a lot maybe to some of you guys, if you guys work a lot of hours, but to be glued to a phone and just be listening to people all day, it could be extremely exhausting, so I'm happy. Um, supposed to be out tomorrow and Thursday, but I will be putting in... I was supposed to be off tomorrow and Friday, but I'm putting in a couple hours of OT tomorrow, just three hours actually. I'm working from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. to 10, which is perfect because then after that I can just get up or clock out, do a little quick breakfast, then take off to finish the Christmas shopping. And then on Friday I'm working a few hours, about four from eight to noon, which is again not a big deal. And then I can take my cousin out to lunch. Because it is her birthday this weekend. And then on Saturday, it's my best friend's birthday. And so we're having, I guess she's having some sort of little gathering at her house. So this, as of tomorrow, I will have more stuff going on. The vlogmas that I'm about to put up is going to be for three days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Simply because there's literally no footage. Like literally all I did was get up from 7 a.m. Work to 7 p.m. And then just like make dinner. That's literally my life right now. Uh... So let me make some dinner right now. I've been defrosting these defrosting these chicken wings. If you saw the beginning of my vlogmas, you saw that I bought them for hella cheap, hecka cheap. I'm about to throw them in my air fryer and I just wash them and I dry them. I pat them dry. I add garlic salt. Oh, it's cold in here. And then lately I've been adding this steak butter a seasoning salt. Lately, I've been adding that seasoning 
to everything, the butter steak thing. Uh, and then I told you guys last time that I only use, oh yeah. I use the Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. I make wings once a week, just about. There's been times where I can go like a month without making wings and that's like a very rare occasion if I don't make wings. Um, I just love them. I don't know what else to make though. I'll probably put some like fries or some, I will probably, not baked potato, but I'll probably chop up some fries, like some potatoes into like long like steak fries type of thing just so i can accompany the wings uh i really should be eating vegetables i really should be making a salad but you know what forget that i've been working so hard and uh i deserve a little treat also i got these wines from trader joe's when i was there last I was at Trader Joe's two week, uh, just about two weeks ago, and I haven't opened them. They've just been sitting in my fridge. And i that's peach-flavored. I actually have peach-flavored uh, fruit, which I'm going to add to the glass. Sip on. I'm going to drink the whole thing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not count. I'm not count. I'm not I can talk, I swear. I'm not doing count calories like all this week because I don't care. And as we get closer and closer to the end of the year, I'm like, whatever, who cares? Um, which is like the totally wrong energy and that it's not the energy that I wanna have towards the end of the year. But honestly, like the other day, I saw one of my favorite YouTubers talk about like diet culture and just like the obsession with dieting and count counting and it's like yes we should be concerned with our health and yes like if something was wrong with me physically like or um and health wise i would be like you know what no i'm gonna stick to my calorie counting but you know what like i'm a relatively healthy person think i'm a relative i am a relatively healthy person i think god don't have any major complications or health complications so and then she um basically linked another girl. She's like a dietitian, a dietitianist, dietitianary, dietitianist, dietitianist. I don't know if that's the proper term, but anyway, uh, the point that I'm trying to make, and I'm just fucking blabbering on apparently, is that don't feel bad and don't shame yourself because I feel like we are our worst critics we are so much more critical on ourselves than we would be like on our friends per se so just like love yourself treat yourself good which is what i'm doing all week like i need self-care because this week has been a really actually this whole month has been tough because i know that i did it to myself to do like the whole vlogmas thing because i'm adding more pressure on myself than i really should but it's like a tradition for me at this point to do it and i don't mind doing it but it's just that like when i work crazy hours like this where all i do is work i feel like this sucks like i'm not giving them good content like why am i even doing this right but perhaps <clears throat> this is like someone's unwinding time you know seeing what other people do for dinners and you know whatever i'm opening up the wow and i'm not wearing a bra Sorry, hold on a second. So I'm opening it up. Open it. Oh God, I cannot talk. Oh, also, my cousin yesterday brought me this uh, stress ball, and I forgot to use it at work today. But like, this is actually kind of cool, and it's uh, friends. I think she probably did it because it's friends, as you know, they love friends stuff. Anyway, let's open up this baby. I'm not gonna count the calories. Not gonna do it. Not doing it. So I'm gonna put it in this bad boy. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Then I'm gonna add the frozen peaches. Just 
just like that. Cheers if you've had a long week. Cheers if you've had a short week. Cheers if you're just trying to get through the day. And cheers to you all watching my vlogmas, even though they could be boring as heck when I'm working so many days. Hi, Rocky. Um, also, okay, so I wanted to talk about Selling Sunset. I'm not going to uh, spoil alert anything because, oh, I didn't actually drink from my chairs. I'm not going to spoil alert anything. Oh my God, that is literally amazing. So I got these <clears throat> frozen peach things from a uh, grocery outlet, which if you're from the East or like probably like not Washington state or like California or like the West coast, it's probably called Aldi's where you're from. Anyway, uh, not here nor there. And then this is the wine from Trader Joe's. They have a four pack. I've actually used to really like these when I was living in Linwood because I, I had a Trader Joe's like right around the corner from my house. I used to buy these all the time, but now that I don't live near a Trader Joe's, which breaks my heart and I have to drive like at least half an hour to get to one. Long story short here, a lot of you that live in a big city probably have to drive a lot though to get to places and like it's not as easy. So probably getting in my car and driving somewhere is like probably just as much of a hassle. Anyway, I'm way blabbering. This combination is freaking fire. Mm. And tomorrow or next week, I want I ha I bought me a second four pack, but it's of mangoes and I have frozen mango as well. So, oof, I can already imagine. This is fire. Okay, so come with me while I finish effing this wine up. I'm about to show you how I chop up my potatoes for my steak fries. Um, I went ahead and I preheated the oven to 440. Um, while I wait for the air, for the wings and the potatoes to be done, the fries, steak fries, I will also be cleaning the house. My house really isn't dirty. It just looks dirty because I have shit all over the counter, which I hate. I despise so much, but it takes me like 20 minutes to cl clean this little kitchen. Like there's nothing to it. I just have to load and unload the dishwasher and put stuff away. And by the time I'm done, dinner will be done. This will definitely be on. Let's keep it real. I'll probably be done with like the whole four pack by the time that's done. I totally stopped talking when I said, well, I totally like rambled off. I am telling you, I have ADD. So I was watching um, Selling Sunset because one of my, the podcast girls that I listened to, Girls Gotta Eat, they recommended that. They couldn't recommend it enough apparently. I'm getting hooked on it. So my brother does real estate, so I like, you know, I know some of the terms and whatever. And so it's kind of cool because it's like these boss bitches and they are selling real estate in LA, uh, listing like beautiful millions of dollars worth of homes. So their commission is fat. And then just like obviously the LA life and drama and whatever, but I don't really have a favorite character yet because I'm still trying to figure them bitches out. I've only seen like three, four episodes. So the jury is still out for debate. Hopefully by now y'all have watched the new reboot of Sex in the City. And just like that, not going to spoil alert still because I don't know if everybody has watched it. So I'm trying to be sensitive, but like, swear to gosh. I love it, but like, I don't love it. You know what I mean? Like, I love it because I'm glad to see the girls back. And it's kind of nice to see, like, Brady's grown up, even though he's a little shit. And, like, you know, Lily and them. But it's, like, also sad that my bitches are old and they're not who they used to be. Which is the whole point of, and just like that, you know, because they're, like, going away from who they used to be. And, like, eventually everybody evolves. Like, you cannot remain who you were five fucking ten years ago. Like, yes, you, you're, you're you, the essence of you is always going to be there. But, like, if you haven't evolved or, like, matured or leveled up at some point, then I think you're maybe living life a little dangerously, a little reckless. But, anyway, um, not trying to give you a life picture here. 
Fuck, where are the potatoes? I can't find the potatoes, so it's driving me crazy. Let me put this shit away. I'll come back in a little bit. All right, so I have a tiny house, right? It's not literally a tiny house, but it is a small house. But I just call it my tiny house. Anywho, I found the potatoes. I washed them. They were in this cabinet where I, I use this cabinet as like my pantry. <sighs> Sucks. I really need to build a pantry. Like, I need a liberal size pantry. Anywho, um, what am I talking about? So, I'm just literally making little fries. Steak fries are supposed to be longer, like Red Robin, but obviously I have little less potatoes. Whatever. Preheating of the oven is ready. So yeah, so I'm just cutting like this. I'm leaving the skins because I like the skins. The skins are great. I'm gonna just lay them flat on a baking sheet. Wings are ready, they're extra crits. The fries ended up looking like I made them in the stove top, but I just added like the smallest little bit of oil and they got hella crisp, so. This is number three. And I'm feeling good. And I'm watching sunset. And my dogs are crazy. When everything is clean now, I just have to pick up the counters and put away those last minute dishes and finish washing the air fryers dish thing. So. Last one, fourth one, still watching the show. Sorry, still dealing with slow punks. Yes. Yes. <sighs> good night, y'all. Thanks for watching day 15.